Good afternoon. My name is Nikki Freed. I am Florida's Commissioner of Agriculture and gubernatorial candidate. I'm also the first Jewish female to have ever held statewide here in the state of Florida. But I'm not standing here today with my titles. I'm standing here as a member of the Jewish community. In 1994, I went on a mission called March to the Living, which we spent one week in Israel and one week in Poland, where tens of thousands of Jewish teenagers traveled to Poland to bear witness of the atrocities of the Holocaust in order to come back and to teach what we saw and to educate people on the Holocaust can never happen again. And I'm going to read you the pledge that I took in 1994. We pledge to keep alive the honor and the legacy of the multitudes of our people who have perished in the Holocaust. We pledge to fight anti-Semitism, anti-Zionism, Holocaust denial, and all other forms of hatred directed towards the Jewish people and Israel. We pledge to fight every form of discrimination manifested against any religion, nationality, or ethnic group. We pledge to actively participate in the strengthening of Jewish life in the diaspora and in Israel. We pledge to increase our knowledge of our Jewish heritage and to pass on the love of Jewish life and learning of the next generation. We pledge to give Sadaka to assist in helping the needy whenever we may need in the world. We pledge ourselves to be involved in Takun alum, to build a better world for any member of human family. And the show of that promises of never again was proclaimed. We pledge to create a world where never again will become a reality for the Jewish people and indeed for all people. That is a pledge that I gave in 1994 to always stand up against anti-Semitism, to stand up against hate and racism. And it is so heartbreaking that in 2022, I have to stand here again to reaffirm that pledge. And over the last few years, we have seen the rise of anti-Semitism and hatred and hate towards our LGBTQ plus community. We have seen the rise of neo-Nazis and white supremacists. Two weeks ago, I was at a gubernatorial forum where I was vocally harassed by a member of the Proud Boys for doing my job and suspending 35 licenses of individuals who were involved in the January 6th insurrection. We have seen this increase all across our state and all across our entire country. This past week, our governor sent out an email declaring that there is enemies within us, within our state. Ron is asking for a war when he is declaring that there is enemies here. We must come together and unite. We should be fighting for democracy, not fighting our fellow man and our fellow countryman. In the words of Abraham Lincoln, with malice towards none, with charity for all. The fact that yesterday, neo-Nazis were here at this convention center in Tampa, Florida, talking hate, holding neo-Nazi flags with swastikas. We have seen all across our state neo-Nazis protesting in Orlando, sending rhetoric, hate rhetoric, and flyers all across South Florida. We are seeing swastikas painted on garage doors of homes in Fort Lauderdale and on temples and Holocaust museums. Our country is divided. We as leaders must come together and push down that hate. We may all disagree on policies, but if we as leaders don't denounce neo-Nazis and white supremacists in our state, in our country, what are we doing here? So to every neo-Nazi that stood on these streets yesterday, the cowards that put masks on their face and flung the, sw the flag for the Nazis, we will not tolerate this. We will not stand silent 
You will not silence our voices. We will not go away. We will speak louder. We will organize. We will make sure that your hate speech will not be heard. Now I am asking for every elected official, I don't care if you're Republican, I don't care if you're a Democrat, I don't care if you're independent. This is a time to say no. We are not gonna stand for hate and anti-Semitism and racism. And so I am asking you, Ron DeSantis, to denounce the Nazis that were here, here to celebrate your speech inside of this convention center. They were holding your pictures yesterday. These are the individuals that we need to make sure are not here in the state of Florida. So Ron, you are the leader of 22 million individuals, the third largest Jewish population in the country. We need to stand united. This is not a Democrat or Republican issue. This is a human issue. I will never be silent and neither should you. Thank you for being here today. We will never stand silent. We will speak up. This kind of action, these kinds of words are to be condemned. Thank you. And I'll take any questions. Why are they think it's acceptable? Because you're not hearing from leaders. You're not hearing from, from, from Ron DeSantis or Donald Trump saying this is unacceptable. And so they feel like they've created a, a safe harbor for them here in our state. And the fact is they were outside here yesterday when Ron and Trump and others of the radical right were talking. Where are our leaders today? Where are they saying that this is not okay? And when you stand silent and you say nothing, it emboldens and empowers them, which is why I'm here today, standing up for what we believe in. Listen, we're Americans. We have to fight for America, for our democracy, not our fellow man. And this type of hate speech has to be condemned by all leaders in our country. What it made me feel yesterday, and not just yesterday, we are seeing it in South Florida, we are seeing it in Claremont, we saw the neo-Nazi flags in Orlando outside of Disney, and it's time for everybody, everybody, regardless if you're Jewish or you're Muslim or you're Christian or any other religion, for us to come together. And so what this does to me personally, because this has been a fight that I have been enduring my entire life and trained for this moment, is that I knew I couldn't stand by silent that I had to be here today to condemn this, to make sure that the Floridians know that there's somebody who's going to always stand up for them, who is always gonna fight this anti-Semitism, the white supremacy that is starting to creep through our government and the people of our state, and we cannot tolerate that. Listen, we are at trying times in our country and in our state. And if you wanna make a difference, if you wanna make sure this type of hatred ends, then we need people to register. Register to vote. Um, we have closed primaries here in Florida, so it means if you are an independent, you cannot vote in our primaries. So if you have inclined to go and vote for a Democrat or Republican, make sure by tomorrow evening that you are registered to vote and that you've declared a party. It's important no matter what party you are, right? That is correct. Voting is the, the crux of who we are as a democracy. It needs to be protected, it needs to be celebrated, it needs to be encouraged, and that's what I will continue to do. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.